Okay, Brody fans, this one is for you today. Going to be taking a look at the Extreme Z Awakened STR Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, as well as the physical Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I did this video ages ago, back in the good old days, when I made a lot of SSR analysis videos. But the point is, since then, he has improved dramastic dr dramatically. I can't, when you can't English. The point is, he has improved dramatically. And when I first did it, it wasn't even a contest. It was, yeah... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Wrong thing. This sure was a rocky start to the video, but today going to be going over which one I personally believe is the best. To be honest, it's a lot... When I first, when I was looking at them just now, it's a lot closer than I thought it would be because I think that... You know what? I'm, I'll, say, I'll save that bit for the end. Regardless, let's start off with the STR Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. He gives a 70% stat increase to STR types as well as the free key. Supreme damage to all enemies and raises attack for three turns. He gets an 80% attack and defensive increase when he super attacks. Hardened Garage, Saiyan, Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan, Lineage, Berserker, and the First Battle Link. 12 key multiply, 140%. Raising attack for three turns is a 50% boost. Super attack level can go up to 15, but only through the Extreme Z Awakening. After Z Awakening, of course, the, the damage indicator slightly changes, but he is the exact same as a normal unit now here is what is extremely interesting about his broly in particular he actually has one of the highest attack stats in the game like even take and take him into account the lrs by the way so the broly is a massive improvement over what he was before before his leader skill was bad mass damage so that kind of held him back a, a lot the reducing defense wasn't that much of an issue it was a 7,000 attack but the one thing that he has always had on his side is the fact that he has the best potential system buffs in the game. And I probably should have had this open before. But if I go over to the EBZ space, big shout out to Renzi, of course. And go to the potential system. It gives you a grid of like the units with the best potential system buffs in the game. So these are the units with the best potential system buffs in the game for agility. Right now we have the Goku. Tech, you have Perfect Cell, you have the Beerus, Intelligent, Ultimate Gohan, Janemba, STR, you have Broly, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta, Gogeta, and then for Physical, we have Full Power Freezer and the Physical Kid Boo. So when it comes to the Broly, his biggest increase comes to his attack, which means that he is easily going to have one of the highest attack stats in the game. It says right here, wait, forgot down here. So this is with him Extremes Awakened, by the way. So his attack stat is almost 20,000, and if we go over to Japan... Do this real quick. Japan card. We go over to attack. Set that to attack as well. You can see that he is up there in terms of attack stats. If I'm not mistaken, this is every single unit in the game at their best. And the Broly has an attack stat of like 19,000. So he is above Vegito Blue, if I'm not mistaken. He is slightly above Vegito Blue, which is very impressive. He is one of the very, very few units in the game that is actually above an LR. When it comes to their attack stats. Of course, you're going to have units like Gogeta. That if they get an Extreme Z Awakening, are going to be up there as well. Actually, to be fair, Gogeta is above LR Ginyu. Well, both LR Ginyus. Okay. I, I, I see you, Gogeta. He's probably going to go up to 20k. If, if, you know, if he gets his Extreme Z Awakening. But that just shows you how much stronger these units can get. From the potential system buffs. As well as the Extreme Z Awakenings. But he is an incredible card overall. The fact that he is capable of super attacking all of your enemies is extremely useful against Super Battle Road. Because Super Battle Road is easily the hardest event in the game right now. So, honestly, when it comes to that mode, this Broly may actually be better than LR Broly. And the reason why I say this is because not only does he get an attack increase, but he also gets a defensive increase. Which is going to be, you know, making a massive difference when it comes to how well he can tank the hits. Whereas with the LR Broly, he of course reduces his defense, which will allow you to take way more hits. And the good thing about this Broly in particular is that he is extremely easy to get to 100%. Well, I say it, <laughs> I say extremely easy, but it depends on whether or not he actually got the Broly dupes with the red stone. Look at how high that defensive stat is as well. 12,000. We take into account that defensive increase. And of course the lead that he is going to be on. Just an incredible unit overall. He has a lot of offensive and defensive utility. A bit of a shame that his categories aren't necessarily that great. Of course, the his best possible category provides a 150% stat increase, which, to be honest, isn't that bad at all. And now that I think about it, I kind of want to try the Broly on this particular category, because before, 
he would be getting a total attack increase of 120%. And, hmm. He does have Berserker. But the issue is, who is he going to share that link with on that particular team? Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue. I'm going to have to look into that. But the point is, this new the Extreme Z Awakened Broly is extremely powerful. He has almost no flaws. He has a great link set as well. Oh, to be honest, actually, he doesn't have the Prepared for Battle link. But the reason why that's not an issue is because you have Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. That provides the free key to all your units or all your extreme type units. So whilst there are there is that little drawback, it's not gonna affect it that greatly because you have other units that are supporting him anyway. It could make a bit of a difference if you don't have those particular units, but for the most part, he is just solid all around. Incredible power. If you haven't seen my showcase already, you can hit for like 1.5 million consistently at 100 percent And he I would imagine that that can go even higher when you take into account the fact that he has a better category. Of course, in comparison to the team that I showcased, showcased him on before. Anyway, moving on to the next Broly, we have the Physical Legendary Super Saiyan. He gives the free key to physical types as well as a 70% stat increase. Unfortunately, he was the only 70% lead, original 70% lead, that didn't have immense damage. And wow, was that a downer because that heavily affected how good he actually was. The ability to super attack twice was dope because he was like the first unit of his kind. Like he was the very first unit in the game that has the potential to super attack twice. Gets a 7,000 attack increase and attack with an additional super attack when he is 8 or more. Hardened Guage, same warrior race, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan, Lineage Berserker, prepared for battle and first battle. The only difference between their link sets is the fact that he does have the prepared for battle link. And of course he also has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. But here are multiple things. That this physical, or pardon me, the STR Broly has over the physical one. He can go up to Super Attack level 15. He has a better potential system. He gets a percentage increase from his passive. Granted, they both have supreme damage, but when it comes to how hard he can hit, that flat out attack increase is going to make a massive difference. I personally believe that overall, the STR Broly is better. It's very marginal, and the reason why I say this is because... He has the crit ability. He has a high crit ability. So when that goes off, it is going to allow him to hit drastically harder. His, you know, his stacks are higher as well when he's extremely awakened. Like I said before, the links aren't a problem. They are both in the same category. So they are extremely equal when it comes to most aspects of their cards. But when it comes to which one is better, I personally believe that the SCR Broly is better than the physical one. But not by that much. And the thing that really allows the physical one to the thing that really allows the physical one to maybe potentially come up against the str one is the fact that he has the potential to get triple super attacks granted the str one does have the ability to get two super attacks to go off because of the potential system but i think overall the str one is going to output a bit more damage just because of that crit ability whereas the physical one of course has a higher additional level but that's not the point when it comes to which one provides the most and which one is useful in the most modes in the game. The STR one takes it by far just because he is incredible against Super Battle Road. Of course, Physical Broly does have the potential to super attack multiple times, but the STR Broly can li literally attack every single enemy that you are facing in one rotation. And if he gets an additional super attack, he is attacking them all over again. And of course, every single one of those attacks has the potential to be a crit, which is the exact same for the Broly, of course. But it, it, I personally don't believe that he aged very well. If he had immense damage, it would make a massive difference. The fact that he has a flat out attack increase as well is another thing that is holding him back. But I feel like when they first made him, they didn't realize how underwhelming he was in comparison to some of the other leads. But he is still a decent unit nonetheless. I personally think that the best Broly's in the game, of course, are the LR Broly as well as the STR one. When it comes to which one is better between the STR one and... Oh, the both STR. When it comes to the DLR one and just the regular one, I don't think that the Extreme Z Awakened one is that far behind. And the reason why I say this, of course, is because it's extremely easy... Oh, I say extremely easy. It's kind of easy to get him to 100%, which is going to close the gap between the LR one and, of course, himself. But, yeah, I hope I made sense of everything that was going on. 
In the end, the STR one is better. The Extreme Z Awakening honestly pushes him over the edge. The high stats, super attack level 15, the percentage increase from the passive, the ability to raise his own attack with every single super attack. Just a great unit overall. Minimal fault. He literally went from being one of the worst units in the game to now being an incredible staple on that Extreme STR team. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is better? The STR Broly or the physical Broly? I think a lot of people are going to undermine the physical one just because he hasn't necessarily had too much time in the sun. But it is what it is. They are still both incredible units. I do prefer the STR one. I do think that the STR one is better overall. But definitely don't overlook the fact that Broly has the potential to get multiple super attacks to go off. And of course, if all of them are crits, it's going to be dealing a ton of damage. But I definitely feel like the STR one has way more utility. And if I had to pick between the two at 100%, STR one takes it.